Tessa's ear, nose, and throat doctor recommended that she change her trach every day, since she's too weak to speak or breathe through normal mucus buildup. So, since 2003, she's changed it thousands of times. Another video on this site shows how to reprocess a tube with boiling water. After the tube cools down, it's time to switch it with yesterday's tube. The first step is to disconnect the ventilator. Next, I'm evacuating the water from the cuff, which is still inside her trachea. And now I'm disconnecting the trach collar. And I use a soft Kleenex to help grab any excess mucus that likes to come out when I withdraw the tube. And next, oh, this is a killer. You have to be tough for this. I'm sanitizing her stoma with an alcohol swab. I don't recommend that for a new incision. Ask your nurse for alternatives for that. Oh, whoops. Usually I'm fast enough to get this done before the vent alarm beeps, but I'm being slow today. You silence the alarm. Now I'm applying sterile lubricant to the shaft of the tube. Being extra thorough today. Sorry. I can see on Tessa's face that she's running out of air. You introduce the tube. Secure the collar. Get her hair out of the way. And you get the syringe and inflate the cuff. I pulled the tube out just a little bit because I've learned just exactly where Tessa likes it when the cuff is inflated. And then you reconnect the ventilator. And you can see that all this stimulates the cough reflex, naturally. 